name is Sandy and welcome to my beach. Today we're going to work on a super fun inversion and that's our crow pose. So let's start with one of the most important things, always the core and of course the hands. That's going to take most of the weight in our crow pose. So I want you to pretend like you're using your hands as suction cups, like you're coming up a wall. We're going to press into the pads of our thumbs and the tips of our fingers and our, our knuckles are going to lift a little bit. So they're going to look like suction cups. So let's start. Bring the hands in front of you about shoulder distance apart. Find that suction cup sensation and make sure the pads of the fingers are carrying the weight. That will take uh, the pressure from the wrist. The wrist creases are facing the front wall. So bring your booty up. Hi, yes I said booty. Bring the feet hip distance apart and then come to your tippy toes. Now, when we bend the elbows, we're going to do like a chaturanga, chaturanga push-up. So the elbow comes straight back, like a tricep push-up. So imagine doing that with your hands on the mat. So come high on the tippy toes, and then bring your knees into your armpits and bend your elbows, just like that chaturanga. Gaze always stays forward, because if you gaze down, you fall down. Find that belly to spine connection, so around the spine. Now, if you're just starting in crow, maybe lift one foot at a time. Feel that difference in balance. And then moving on, maybe shift the weight up forward and then just float back and forth. And now we're gonna go big. Gaze forward and start to lift the toes. Bring that weight into the pad, suction cup the hands and then bring the toes to touch. Or maybe even the heels and flex the feet. Stay here for three to five breaths. Most importantly, don't forget to breathe. And slow or low again. Happy flying.